My husband, the adorable and very funny, Mitch Fatel. My wife, everybody, give her a big hand. How hot is she? Thank you. That's enough. I know you're applauding for her because she's so hot. I've never had anyone applaud for me like that. So, and yes, uh, that is really my wife. She put a ring on it, bitches. Take a good look at that, boys. Yeah, that's what you call 100% tungsten. Get a good look, hater. Six years I've been married to that girl, wow. And I'm still madly in love with my wife. I'm never gonna be one of those guys who's like, oh, the old ball and chain, I'm gonna pee on her face and kill her. I love my wife. My wife is an awesome human being. I love her so much. Her name is Jessica, by the way. And not only is she beautiful and smart, but she is my best friend and my hero. And in addition to these wonderful qualities, I am also proud to announce that my wife is a bad girl. <laughs> I love being married to a bad girl. Bad girls are awesome. I am always quite perplexed when a gentleman tells me that he would like to marry a good girl because good girls are the most hideous human beings on the planet. They are vile, wretched creatures who should die in fiery head-on collisions. Where do I begin? Okay, how about here? First of all, they're boring as hell. They have zero sense of humor. They will never send you good text pictures. If you ever dated a good girl, you will be awoken at four o'clock in the morning to the alluring ding of a text picture. You excitedly reach for the phone with one hand while your other hand prepares itself for active duty, <laughs> only to horrifyingly discover that she has awoken you from a delightful slumber so that you might see a picture of her stupid cat <laughs> with cake on its face. Like, you woke me for this? I can't, I can't fondle myself to this. I'll give it a fair shot, but I don't foresee this having a happy ending. Why would you waste my data with this, you witch? And 